our play now from the back session, we look at a football specific warm up. Passing and receiving are the main focus. Coaching points. Pass. We look at the vision, the weight, angle, and information. When we receive, do our players have a picture? Have they got their correct movements, body shapes, their first touch, and a positive pass? Our players work in the clockwise and anti clockwise rotations. The progression in the warm up we're looking at players playing a pass, set, and then a long pass. Again, clockwise, anti clockwise. We're looking at increasing as many actions as we can in an unimposed environment. Our main focus is on the technique of the pass and the movement to create space to receive. The warm-up can begin at a low to medium intensity. When we get to the final progression in the warm-up, you'll see the players challenge themselves and do one-touch combination play, which will naturally speed up to a high intensity. In the technical part of the session, we look at a small side of game. Inside we play 4v4 with goalkeepers on the ends, or this could be even players. Object of the game is can you play through the thirds to the opposite end. Once it goes there, we start and build the phase again, trying to get through the middle and play the pass to the opposite player. Let's break it down. When the player on the end receives, let's split wide and long to give width and depth. Setup is key for this to work. Then we look at the pass from the goalkeeper and also the body shape to receive. Can that be a positive touch? Play through into the midfielder and now we can go all the way to the opposite end. Again, once the player receives, we look at width and depth. If the defender has space, can they dribble towards the midfield area? This could be an opportunity for the opposition to jump up where we can play a pass in and behind on shoulders to receive. Again, in our transitions, we've got a good solid defensive shape from the red team. Let's have a look at our number six. His position, he stays away and allows the defender to receive and his body shape is on a half turn with his first touch forward. This is crucial for, to, for us to work. Body shape is so important when playing out from the back. In the final part of our session, we're looking at 11 v 11 game. Our setup is 4-3-3 v 4-3-3. We're continuing the topic of playing out from the back, but our coaching points are now for 11 v 11 game. You can see in our setup here, we're looking at width and depth. Both center halves are split, our midfielders are staying away, full backs are pushed high and wide, and our attackers give us depth and width. When the ball is played to the centre half, he can step forward, and now we highlight the movement of our holding midfield player. It's very important that his timing of his run is important, that he can find space in behind the defensive setup. When he receives, can he be brave and play forward, and we attack, this time in the wide areas. Again, our centre halves are split. Now can we play another option? Maybe it's a full back this time. Our attack brings us wide that we get an end product. Another option. Midfielder attracts, creates space for the attacking midfielder to receive, and now we can attack again. The defending team tried to stop the play going one side, so we have to switch to come back out and start again. It's important that our number six is always there to give us an option to play forward. Let's look at the setup from the defending team. They've now had two attackers pressed high and the space right in behind. Our number six can give us an option to receive. He can drop in. Again, his body shape is side on and he has a positive pass to play forward. Sometimes when the six drops in, 
he will now be attached by the defending midfielders. This gives us an option, can we play in wide areas? So it has to go over the press, and both wide players can receive, or even our full backs. We have to be brave in these scenarios, play a positive pass forward so we can attack to get some end products. This is what our goalkeeper sees. It's very important that he can analyse to go over the press that we can attack and our transitions are that we can get high up the pitch quickly together. Let's look at the summary. This session is adaptable for all age groups. Our coaching points for our technical are passing and receiving. In our tactical we look at width and depth, but it's important that we can adapt to all scenarios. In our social and psychological, the discipline of our structure, the composure of our play, and that we have patience. Let's look at our coaching style. We use demos, visual aids, peer-to-peer, question and answers, guided discovery, coaching in the flow, and we limit our stop-starts. Our main coaching focus is our players, goalkeeper, and number six. In our unit, our back four, our central defenders and fullbacks, and in our team, our organised shape. It's important to remember that this session is based upon giving us some patterns of play. Football is not robotic and we do encourage our players to be innovative and creative. We only apply this session to give them guidelines for their understanding.